And we begin with continuing coverage of the accident that killed four teens and critically injured another. The crash happened on Boston Road in Columbia Township early yesterday morning. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Lee Jordan. And I'm Chris Flanagan. State troopers say the car crossed over railroad tracks at a high rate of speed and went airborne. The car hit a ditch, then a tree, before landing on its roof. The driver, 18 year old Jeffrey Chea, 16 year old Lexi Perner, and 17 year old Blake Barkchak died on Sunday. 18 year old Kevin Fox died this morning. 17 year old Julia Romito is still in critical condition. We have team coverage on this tragic story. News Channel 5's Bob Jones spoke with some of the victims' families. Investigative reporter Sarah Buddison is live with details on why car crashes are the leading cause of death among teenagers. We begin, though, with Bob Jones. Well, Chris, we learned today that the Brunswick students were together watching a movie Saturday night at one of their homes. But around 11 o'clock, they decided to leave that home and go for a drive. About an hour later, the car crash happened, taking the lives of four good kids with bright futures. When state troopers showed up at the Bartcheck home around 2 o'clock Sunday morning, the family's worst fears became a reality. It's like a scene from a horror movie. You see those two patrolmen pull up and, you know, they took their heads off and said, you know, I'm, I'm sorry, and we just knew from there. Brent's younger brother, 17-year-old Blake Marchek, died in the accident. Brent says Blake loved football and wanted to be a businessman. The terrible crash turned into a double tragedy for Brent. His best friend, 18-year-old Jeff Chea, the driver, also died. Right now, I just, it, it, I'm still in shock. I don't know when, when, when that shock will just wear off. Jeff was also a football player and known for his sense of humor. It's just really hard. I don't, I'm, not gonna, I'm never going to be the same. I'm not going to be able to see him have a family. Jeff's parents say they sent a text to Jeff about an hour before the crash. He texts back a couple minutes later. I told him to, you know, get home, and he says, I'll be home soon. But an hour later, the car going too fast over railroad tracks went off the road and overturned. Killing four of the five close friends. That day he died, he was supposed to graduate, and that was hard. The other two teens killed were dating 18 year old Kevin Fox, a talented hockey player who also would have graduated yesterday, and 16 year old Lexi Perner, who loves snowboarding and was looking forward to her senior year. My sister was beautiful and loving and caring and friendly. It hasn't really sunk in. I just feel like she's going to walk through the door in a few days. Kevin. He was everything to me. My best friend, he was my little brother, basically. He was basically family to me. He's a guardian angel. He's the nicest kid I know and literally the best kid at heart. Tonight, through her unimaginable grief, a powerful message from one of the victim's mothers. It shouldn't have happened. You know, it shouldn't have happened. So just hug, hug your kids. And that's all I could say, because they might not be there in this crazy world. And we learned today that Kevin Fox wanted to be an organ donor, and today his family honored that wish. The only survivor of this terrible car crash, Julia Romito, is being treated at Southwest General Hospital tonight. Live in Brunswick, Bob Jones, News Channel 5. And we just received the information for the teens' funerals. Family and friends can pay their respects to Blake and Jeffrey from 2 to 8 p.m. on Wednesday at St. Ambrose. Blake's funeral is at noon on Thursday. Jeffrey's service is at 9.30 a.m. on Thursday. Lexi's wake is on Wednesday at Jardine Funeral Home. Her funeral mass will be at 9.30 on Friday. Kevin Fox will be laid to rest on Saturday. Location and time for his funeral have not yet been released. A complete list of funeral arrangements is available on our website at newsnet5.com.